While there are many strange mysteries when it comes to Egypt, I bet you haven't heard of these, and the last one is the craziest. There are a few places across the globe where the distant past still appears very much alive and imposing. Egypt is one of those places. Epic stories and legends whisper across the sands of time and the deserts of the region. As echoes of the great dynasties rise up as testimonies of war, struggle, and drama from the desert sands. Iconic structures such as the Great Pyramid, the Giza Necropolis, and the Sphinx can be found upon the Giza Plateau. And all of these structures retain their own unique mysteries to this very day. And there's so much more yet to be discovered. There are writings and stories about such places as the Lost Labyrinth, a structure that was so vast and impressionable, it was written that it surpassed the splendor of the pyramids and held records of lost civilizations vastly more ancient, predating even the Egyptian dynasties. According to some recent research, the labyrinth could be buried in an area close to the Pyramid of Amenemhat III at Hadawa. There also remains the mystery of the hidden chamber of the Great Pyramid. Well, two chambers, in fact. They were confirmed to exist along with smaller voids when scientists between 2015 and 2017 used a revolutionary method called muon topography scanning, made use of cosmic rays to detect the voids. In the near future, a more detailed and sophisticated version will be employed to detect objects and relics within the voids. And then there is the enduring mystery of the Dendera light, found in the Temple of Dendera, being a massive carved relief that shows, for all intents and purposes, a cylindrical light bulb, complete with electrical elements that look like a power cable that runs from the base of the bulb to a box. Records reveal that the kiosk was crafted with a foundation of gold, topped by a golden roof, and supported by four pillars also made of gold. Surrounding the structure were linen curtains hanging from copper rods on all four sides. Notably, cryptic inscriptions adorn the walls of the easternmost chamber, adding to the enigma of the ancient site. Even more curious is the fact that the illustration is found in the only chamber within the Dendera temple that did not have any fire-burning lamps as opposed to every other chamber. The coincidence is too great, and the mystery still has historians and Egyptologists baffled to this day. The list of mysteries for the ancient land of Egypt is vast, and really just continues to grow with each discovery that is made. But today, we're going to focus on the mysteries of the Sphinx on the Giza Plateau, and how it could be a key to finding out about an even older lost civilization. Known as the Great Sphinx of Giza, the colossal statue was carved out of limestone bedrock and is regarded as the largest monolithic monument on our planet, being 240 feet in length and 66 feet in height. Restoration efforts now include large limestone blocks, especially evident in the paws of the monument. Possessing a lion's body with a human head crowned with a royal headdress, the Sphinx is about a half mile from the Great Pyramid and faces towards the rising sun in the east. Modern mainstream historians believe it to be about 4,500 years old, being created during the reign of the Pharaoh Khafre, whose likeness it's believed to represent. But this is still under hot debate. The argument to this relates to inscriptions on a slab of limestone, a steel known as the Dream Steel of Tutmos located between the paws and back towards the body that talks of Caffrey's rule and a dream prophecy. However, many suspect that this was erected much, much later than the construction of the Sphinx, with some alternative to mainstream theories dating the monument's origin as far back as 12,000 years, long before the time of the Old Kingdom Egyptian dynasties. Now, some historians have interpreted the Sphinx as being a form of Ra, the sun god, also known as Ra Horakiti, which translates as Ra Horus of the horizon. There are no known inscriptions or indications on the actual body of the Sphinx to when it was built, who built it, or why it was built. But by looking at other Sphinx statues and hieroglyphic writings, it is believed that the various types of Sphinx act as gatekeepers or guardians, 
and in the case of the Great Sphinx, it acts as the guardian of the necropolis of Giza. The head of the Sphinx has often notably been described as being too small in relation to its body. Also, the erosion that is visible around much of the lower part of the body is not apparent in any part of the head, which has led to the speculation that the head was much bigger and in form of either a lion's head or a dog head. The latter theory being more popular, believing that it was in fact the head of the god Anubis. This would make sense, many have stated, as Anubis would be more suitable as the guardian or gatekeeper of the necropolis of Giza as Nubis was the god of the dead, god of mummification, and the weigher of souls. But these theories all come down to educated guesses and conjecture. The Sphinx is a riddle in so many ways, and has so many mysteries about it. For now, let's focus on the mystery of the origins of the Sphinx, and a persistent rumor of a hidden chamber that lies beneath it that contains what is known as the Hall of Records. One of the key giveaways as to the Sphinx having an origin way back further than the current 4,500-year-old model is rooted in the weathering and water erosion that is evident in the limestone bedrock surrounding the enclosure where the Sphinx stands as well as the lower part of the actual main body of the Sphinx itself. The weathering and water erosion that's evident contradicts what is known about the conditions of the Sahara for the last 5,000 years. In fact, for such erosion to occur, the Sphinx would have to have been exposed to a great deal of torrential rainfall in a time when the Sahara was more moist and temperate. When one looks at the desert around Egypt and the Sahara today, it is difficult to imagine that it was once humid and full of vibrant vegetation. But in what is known as the African Human Period during the Pleistocene and Holocene geologic epochs, which lasted up to 11,700 years ago, that's exactly how it was, with abundant heavy rainfall. And then came a dramatic climate change, resulting in a literal drying out of the landscape. Some theories speculate it is a cyclical phenomenon, and that in the future, the Sahara will become a lush and temperate environment again. But with the focus on the erosion on the body of the Sphinx and the enclosure from torrential rainfall runoff, it is becoming widely accepted that it is far older than mainstream history narratives would have you believe. So who was around 10,000 plus years ago to create the Sphinx? Not the Egyptian Empire, but an older lost civilization? Another mystery concerns what's inside and what's under the monument. There are several known shafts and holes in the Sphinx, among them Pairing's Hole, Shaft A, the Eastern Shaft, Shaft C, and Shaft D, also known as the Keyhole Shaft. Some of these shafts drop down so deep that they go below the water table. Access to many of them is not allowed, but certain archaeologists and researchers have been granted access in the past, and accordingly, nothing of any remarkable interest was found. And yet, there is a persistent rumor of a huge hidden chamber built like a labyrinth deep under the Sphinx, along with tunnels and smaller chambers. Now, that would be nothing new. Most of the temples and ruins in Egypt feature underground crypts and chambers, but where the rumor differs in regards to the Sphinx is what the large chamber is supposed to contain, being the legendary Hall of Records. The Hall of Records is reputed to contain duplicates of writings that were lost in the destruction of the Library of Alexandria, as well as writings and relics going back to long-lost civilizations and the origins of the first civilization during a golden age over 12,000 years ago. The existence of such an underground library labyrinth was referenced by the ancient Greek historian and geographer Herodotus, who said in History's Book 2, 148, This I have actually seen, a work beyond words. For if anyone put together the buildings of the Greeks and display of their labor, they would seem lesser in both effort and expense to this labyrinth. Even the pyramids are beyond words, and each was equal to many and mighty works of the Greeks. Yet the labyrinth surpasses even the pyramids. 
The concept of the Hall of Records gained a lot of traction with the statements of famed clairvoyant Edgar Cayce, who passed away in 1945, statements made over a period of several years while in a trance. In those statements, he said that the entrance to the hall was under one of the paws of the Sphinx. This led to several research expeditions in the 70s, where drilling and ground monitoring equipment were used, but was halted by the Egyptian government before they could finish. Their results were inconclusive, but appear to show traces of anomalies indicative of voids beneath the Sphinx. So how old is the Sphinx exactly? Who built it? And what is it supposed to represent? Could it actually have been built as a monumental guardian, not to the necropolis, but to the mysterious hall of records yet to be discovered? Shifting our focus from the secrets guarded by the Sphinx, we now embark on a journey through the intriguing theories surrounding Pharaoh Akhenaten, stirring debate about his possible otherworldly lineage. It's fascinating to note that scholars have entertained the idea of Akhenaten as a trailblazer for a monotheistic religion, potentially influencing later developments in Judaism. Sigmund Freud was among the first to propose this theory, while others have drawn parallels between the aspects of Akhenaten's worship of the Aten and the relationship between Jesus Christ and God in Christianity, particularly emphasizing a more monotheistic interpretation of Athenism than henotheistic. Additionally, Akhenaten's distinctive physical features, coupled with the remarkable elongated skull of his daughter, raise intriguing questions. Although the practice of elongated skulls were not as prevalent in Egypt as it was among the Maya of Mexico or in parts of East Asia, these peculiarities add to the mystery surrounding Akhenaten and his reign. According to witness reports, there are purportedly various types of Syrians, with one notable group known as the Titan Syrians, originating from Sirius B, a white dwarf located in the Canis Major constellation. The intriguing question arises, was Pharaoh Akhenaten one of these Syrians? Extraterrestrial theorists propose that Akhenaten of Egypt's 18th dynasty may have been a hybrid with Sirius B DNA potentially injected into his embryo. This speculation attempts to account for Akhenaten's distinct physical features, which include elongated facial structures, a prominent chin, and a slender androgynous physique as depicted in ancient Egyptian art. Akhenaten's reign was marked by profound religious reforms that shattered the traditional polytheistic beliefs of ancient Egypt in favor of monotheistic worship centered around the Aten, represented by the sun disk. Proponents of the alien theory argue that this radical shift towards monotheism could have been influenced by extraterrestrial beings who imparted advanced spiritual or scientific knowledge. As we contemplate the mysteries of Akhenaten, our exploration has taken us to our last stop, being a rather disturbing one. During the 19th century, Europeans developed a morbid fascination with ancient Egyptian mummies, leading to the bizarre trend of mummy unwrapping parties, driven by the belief that consuming ground-up mummies known as mummia possessed curative properties. People from all walks of life ingested this awful tasting substance. As interest in Egypt grew, Fueled by Napoleon's expeditions, wealthy Victorians began hosting private events where they would unwrap mummies for their guests' entertainment. These macabre spectacles, initially discussed as medical inquiries, soon devolved into pure display of the era's obsession with death and the exotic allure of ancient Egypt, reflecting the strange and disturbing hobbies of European history. Out of all the strange mysteries covered today, which one did you not know about? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoy the strange and the mysterious, UFOs, the paranormal, and cryptids, this channel is for you. So make sure to subscribe as I do three videos right here every single week and hit that notification bell so you do not miss any of the bonus content I post right here.